explain to us how can we have such massive temperature swings? How can we go from, you know, dangerously cold temperatures in the US now to warmer weather than usual? Well, the, um, the air that's causing these extremely cold temperatures over most of the US right now is coming from the Arctic, um, where it is really cold. Um, and so it is it's entirely possible for us uh, to feel cold temperatures in areas where it, we're not used to those kind of temperatures. Um, the reason we get uh, this kind of uh, plunge of Arctic, cold Arctic air is actually um, because we have warm air and other parts of um, warm air from the lower latitudes being pushed into the Arctic in other parts um, of the region. And so, um, yeah, it's entirely possible to have these conditions uh, while, we, while it's, con it's consistent with the idea of global warming. And, and the swing to the warmer weather, though, how does that fit in? Well, actually, on the western half of the U.S., we have um, really warm temperatures right now. Um, and it's because of this really um, meandering path that the jet stream is currently taking. And so as the weather patterns move across the state, we get uh, a whiplash from extremely cold conditions to extremely warm conditions. And then if we look at this in contrast, uh, Australia has had some of the hottest weather on record. Um, is this now our new normal, these extremes in temperatures around the world? Absolutely. We have seen um, warm extremes breaking records pretty much every season in the last few, uh, few years. Uh, there's an increasing trend in the number of heat extremes that we're increasing, uh, that, that we're experiencing in different parts of the world. Um, and we're seeing more extreme heat records being broken than extreme cold records. And so can you just tell us, what are the health risks uh, to people? Uh, if we just focus on these extremes, what, what health risks are people facing? Well, mortality is the most direct health risk, both from heat extremes as well as from cold extremes. Um, there are a number of deaths associated with both kind of extremes um, in any given year. Okay, and so just briefly, is this now what we can expect uh, for uh, the years to come? Well, our best understanding um, of what increasing greenhouse gases does to the climate is that it leads to warming temperatures um, and on a globe, on the global scale. And so, yes, we are ex expected to see a lot more uh, warm extremes, heat waves um, and various different kinds of extreme events. Moving and forward. finally, um, do you think governments now should be doing more? to tackle uh, climate change when we're seeing such uh, extreme uh, weather around the world? Um, absolutely, it's one of the greatest threats that we have. Um, um, many different parts of the world, extreme life-threatening conditions. Um, and um, this is, it's an urgent issue that needs to be addressed. And the only way that can happen is by um, country, countries um, cooperating with each other because this is a global problem.